from Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Drive and Control Technology Specialist Sue Eurodrive on October 1st started construction on its new 200 million rand head office and factory in Ayrton, Johannesburg. Tasneem Bulbulia tells us more. The new facility will serve as both a factory and the new South African headquarters. Over a three to five year period, the factory will be fitted with Industry 4.0 compliant technologies, including automated assembly machines and guided vehicles, which the company expects will cost at least another 200 million rand. The company is aiming for the new factory to be as automated as possible to allow it to remain globally competitive. SEW Eurodrive South Africa MD Raymond Overmeyer explains the construction process. The total project value uh, is 200 million for the initial pro uh, phase one of of the project. So we are, we spe we're busy building the shell of the building, um, and then from there we will then um, fill it up as we go along for the next two three years with um, the, the the equipment that we need, uh, as discussed at the opening. The 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 the, the property itself is consists of 50,000 square meters. And the new building that will be or busy, that will start construction in October will be 25,000 square meters. We started the project early this year in January, um, February, and obviously, as you know, with the COVID situation, uh, it sort of derailed our plans. So we were delayed for for a few months. We've now we've now basically caught up um, over the last three four months because we had to do the bulk earthworks, as you saw from from our site visit. Um, both earthworks to quite a quite a few months. I think it was up to four, well, close to four months to get going because it was a quite a bit full. You know, we had massive falls we had to fill up. We now then have to now start the construction in October this year. We we'll start the civils. So we're planning according to our, um, our our developers to have the building completed or erected by October. 2021 and obviously the finishing off of, of inside internally we will give ourselves another three months so we're planning to move in in January 2022. Obermeyer explains what will happen to the company's current South Africa headquarters and what purpose the new facility will serve. SCW obviously have got a large footprint in South Africa. We've got branches in Durban, uh, Nelspade, Cape Town and uh, Johannesburg itself that's this, this facility and then we have a sales and uh, a, a services service center in Port Elizabeth. What this building itself will we will keep and, and this will become our repair center for SEW. Our industrial gearbox division is, is, is experiencing massive growth and we, we're experiencing more and more uh, business from our opposition because at the moment you know there seems to be a, a sort of a, a, a issue with service. Service is not being done um, as such in the industry. It's, it's, it's lacking, and we see a, a market out there. And we will use this facility to to to, um, to service um, our products and other products out there in the marketplace. The new facility will be purely for for assembly of our standard product range, the full standard product range at SCW is globally. So we would then obviously assemble all our geared motors. We also will start assembling our frequency drives, our own uh, frequency drives um, assembled locally and our repair of the electronics. We will also look at auto in going into the automation field. Um, we're investigating options of maybe possibly building our own AGVs for, for ourselves and for our customers. We're also looking at um, expanding our server technology and, and, and many of the other um, products that we haven't got in South Africa yet um, that we would we know that we would then be able to introduce because of space. As you know, this building is 30 years old and it's, it's, it's relatively small. So at the moment, we really struggle for space in, um, in the company as such. Obermeyer explains how this investment showcases the German parent company's confidence in the region and how the new facility will be used to further the company's Africa strategy. The owner, Mr. Jürgen Blickler, and our shareholder in, and, and uh, Dr. Zangalini as well, which is also a shareholder for CCW, so have a lot of faith in South Africa. And I think, uh, you know, that, that for us stands us in good stead because for us it's important that, you know, we have the support from, the, from Germany, our head office. And 
over the last few years that I've been um, in this position, they have supported me very well um, to make sure that we, as such as SCW South Africa, increase our footprint and also increase our market share. And obviously look at the rest of Africa. So our plan is to use South Africa as the springboard into Africa and service Africa from South Africa. As you know, we have a, 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 the ideal infrastructure, our financial as, um, banks and, and are well established. And, and for us, it, also, you know, it, it, it just makes common sense to get into Africa from here. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.